Uh, hello, I'm Adam Briggs. I'm the NFU Northwest's Environment Advisor, and I'm just here to talk a little bit about the potential from my perspective with respect to the relaunch of the Lancashire Nature Partnership. Uh, nature recovery and the environment agenda is an incredibly busy place at this moment in time. You've got things such as the new environmental land management scheme coming in, you've got things such as biodiversity net gain, the whole carbon agenda, you've got pitland restoration, all the challenges in relation to flood uh, mitigation and also in terms of coastal erosion. So there are a tremendous amount of things out there which farmers and land managers are going to have to engage with. And to be able to address some of those challenges and also to uh, to realise some of the opportunities, it's really, really important that we engage with farmers and land managers uh, you know, very early on in the process because at the end of the day, they're the people who are going to be delivering what we are trying to achieve. I think the challenge has been in the past is that a lot of these plans and a lot of these things that we do have very, very been, have been worked out in silos. So people design things and, and come up with schemes and that sort of thing, but they don't actually consider the knock-on effect of what that means in terms of land management. So I think it's really, really important. There's a really good opportunity here to do this in a true partnership way and really take those people along who uh, are going to be tasked with delivering what you are trying to achieve. Yeah, so just in terms of the potential for the Nature Partnership, uh, I brought you somewhere where I've just been walking quite a bit more during the COVID pandemic and I found this spot here and I think it very nicely demonstrates what I talk about when I talk about you know, how diverse Lancashire is in terms of habitat. We're about a mile outside Lancaster city centre here. This is some you know, it just shows just the diversity we have in terms of habitats and in terms of land use in Lancashire. Uh, what I do say is that you will find virtually every sort of land use and uh, habitat in, in across the country that you'll find in Lancashire. So here we are, you know, just doing a panoramic shot. You know, we've gone from coastal areas there, some good grassland here, as you can see, quite an urban sort of area there. And then obviously just within a very, very short space of time, we've got some upland land over there, a little bit of alternative energy too. And I think to to build on that, with that, you know, with that diversity comes a real opportunity to deliver for both for nature, for climate change and also for productivity. Uh, so with that diversity comes a huge opportunity but I think part of the challenge is it's very much been seen as an either or. You can either have farming, you can either have food production or you can have nature recovery. And it doesn't have to be that way. You've got things you can do on your farm which will deliver for nature, deliver for food production and deliver for climate. There's a lot of interest now in relation to see where hedges and trees can actually fit in in terms of delivering for nature but also delivering in terms of productivity. Increasing soil organic matter is good for nature, it's good for carbon and it's also good for, um, for productivity too, as is reducing soil compaction. And I think the real opportunity with the relaunch of the Nature Partnership is to, to focus in on those areas because that's where you're going to get your easy wins, that's where you're going to get your engagement and that's when you're going to deliver right across the board. I think it's also important that we very much focus on the how. Uh, a lot of what is done in terms of nature recovery and also other, uh, you know, other aspects of land use is very much, as I've said before, done in silos. And it's not so much the what which generates attention, it's the how. So it's how you achieve what you want to achieve in terms of nature recovery. And I think if we set up the nature partnership right and we'll make sure everybody's voice is heard and we work in a true partnership way, there's no reason why we can't deliver for nature deliver for climate, deliver for productivity and just deliver, you know, a landscape everybody can enjoy.